Well, he's back. He's home again. And he's also not home in multiple franchises. What a what a weird scenario. I, it is definitely a really weird scenario because luckily enough he's home he's getting a third mcu movie and it seems like he's going to be in other mcu franchises right, he's got more appearances but he's still with sony so meaning morbius and venom right, could potentially happen gonna join somewhere in there um which they stated that that was their goal anyway and um to me personally i feel that sony pulled out of it because legally they couldn't use spider-man and they were like we're just going to wait. We're going to wait. We're going to agree upon something because Sony's entire future hinges on Spider-Man, okay. but they can't use live action Spider-Man. Yep. So now they got him and Tom Holland is going to be playing multiple versions of Spider-Man in different franchises. It's an interesting one. It really is. So we're basically going to be having the Tom Holland MCU Spider-Man, which most of us really like. Um, or us, we love that yeah. version. Um, and then we are then potentially still going to have that Tom Holland Spider-Man that can't resemble anything of the MCU right. version. Right, and that is something that is definitely happening. He can't be that version. It's just Tom Holland that's Spider-Man. So hmm. they put themselves into an interesting scenario because to go over what is expected... Let's say when he appears in Venom, which he will, he, he's, he is coming to that. That's been confirmed by the dialogue. That's where his next appearance is, is in Sony's universe. They can't use MJ or Michelle. They can't yeah. use Ned. They can't use any aspect of that. Nope. The MCU cannot use any aspect that's deemed, well, Sony wants to work with it. So they can't like use Venom for now and all that, right? For now. So it puts us into an interesting scenario where we're sitting there and you're going to have the same actor playing the same character, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, but he's got to be completely different in each one. And I think what might work to their advantage here is the fact that... Tom before Holland can act. He can act. <laughs> and the fact that Into the Multiverse of Madness it's is coming. right before Spider-Man. So the everyday person will be like, Oh, multiverses. I'm, I'm down with this. So they can cheese it that way. And I believe that's the reason they were able to agree upon this. Because they're like, we can work through this. Even if it's not ours, it's workable. <laughs> what do you think that they potentially make him a clone? That the new one that's going to be in Tom Hall or uh, in Tom Hardy's universe. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call it the Tom Hardy universe sure. because that Venom is the reason why yeah. all of this happened. So what if that version is going to be a clone of Spider-Man? And then that's how they can also work around the whole, hey, he's different because he's not Spider-Man. Again, I think that would work. Problem. If he's a clone, who's he a clone of? Uh, Spider-Man who died. They can, okay, they but can, is that Tom Holland's... So see what I mean? Like, yeah. th there's going to be... And I've seen that theory around. A lot of people have said that. They're like, oh, what if he's a clone? I, I think that's a little too complex because you're like, well, okay, who's he a clone of? He's a clone of the original Peter Parker. Okay, what he look like? Tom Holland. Is that the MCU one? No. So now it has yeah, multiple layers of explaining. And I don't trust the Venom guys to be able no. to explain that complexity. Like, <laughs> no. I'm sorry, Andy Serkis, you'll be a great director, oh, yeah. but, but I don't... Unfortunately, you're not the one writing it. Yeah, I don't expect the writers to be able to nail that. Unless, somehow through magical loopholes, Kevin Feige's going to sit in and be like, let me look at that script with my guys. Then I trust it because there is the potential here to make it this bigger higher concept universe oh, yeah. for venom which that's crazy to say they venom could now become something very special because it, 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 it has spider-man now while we have spider-man over here so they can do completely different things which now just think of this we're gonna have multiple iterations of live action spider-man along yeah. with multiple other franchises like the video games the cartoons all telling different interpretations, Spider-Verse. Like, yep. it's a great time to be a Spider-Man fan. And now, oh, yeah. like, now that he's back in the MCU, I'm kind of just like, do whatever you will with Spider-Man now with Venom. I don't care. That is true. I'm in that same boat because, like, I just really didn't want to have to, one, 
end Far From Home the way that we did. Mm -hmm. And if you listen to some of our audio commentary, especially Ant-Man and the Wasp, we joke around a bunch about yeah. call, saying redacted any time that Spider-Man would be named. So it's we're definitely in a very interesting time because we are getting the best of both worlds. We are. MCU Spider-Man is going to stay the same. He's going to be... Tom Holland loving life and nope. all of the cast that like surround him. Right. I mean, they already got a release date, which means they've got to have locked down some of the guaranteed stuff. So oh, it's yeah. like, no, they're, they're working on this because they got to be in pre-production by spring. By spring, And they're got to be shooting by July at latest because it's coming out a year after that. So yep. it's that Marvel Cinematic Universe clock. On the other side, you have Venom. Yeah. And it's outright confirmed. The video is out there. The audio is out there. You know, the interviews, they're saying multiple times, oh, yeah, Tom Holland, he's going to be joining Venom. And even Kevin Feige, when this news drops, he talks about Sony's developing their own Venom, you know, universe. And we're excited to see multiple versions of Spider-Man. So he just confirmed Spider-Man yeah. is coming to that. And it's, I think, what, what kind of confuses me, though, and this is like the only thing is, how do you sell this? Selling this to a lot of people will be hard because there will be people like my dad, for example. Yeah. He loves the MCU films. He yes. watches them. And he's going to be, you know, the casual guy that's sitting there watching a commercial. And then there's Venom. And there's Tom Holland's Spider-Man. And he's like, but the first one's not connected. So, yeah, right, it's a little like, weird. Is this MCU? Like, right. like, the only thing that I can think of is there's going to be two ways that they're going to do this. One... The Multiverse of Madness, um, they're going to sit there and flat out state in there. There are multiple universes. Um, you may see someone who looks like you, but he is different than you. Mm -hmm. Mind you, also Far From Home already talked about it, even though it was false back then. They've already talked about it and well, Parker already has in his mind about multiverses and yeah. different iterations of characters. So mm -hmm. it makes it so like at least the everyday person has it somewhat in their mind. Yeah. Here's, this is what we're doing. And that may have also been something that they put in there on purpose because they were not talking at that time, a negotiation wise. And Sony needed a way to be like, see, see, yeah. I told you he something. can come. Um, and then the second thing, the way that they truly explain it is with Madam Web. Yeah. Uh, so Madam Web movie was confirmed in development. I believe it will happen. Uh, me and you just briefly talked about this before we did this. I believe it's going to be like Spider-Man Web of Shadows, like the video game, where Web of Shadows presents Madam Web or something. Yeah. They're going to tie Spider-Man into the title somehow. Okay, you can't and, just have Madam Web and people be like, wait, what? And she can't just be a female Spider-Man that has no connection to multiverse in every version of Spider-Man. Like, yep. She's the core that holds the spider men together like yeah. the, so it, it's again i think this whole split between multiple versions of peter parker being played by tom Holland will ultimately work out mm -hmm. but the positioning is the most interesting because it's such a hard thing to understand for right now and again they're talking like they're friends now like more and their current contract got extended yes we don't know what might happen in a couple years. What happens when the next Spider-Man film comes out and it does like 1.5 billion and this all happens over again? They're not going to want it to go public. They're going to sit down and be like, what do you say to another three films? So I think they're yeah. both trying to just figure out how to go about it in a short-term contract, which I think is what they worked out, is realistically the best one. Because while it is favoring Disney with 25% of box office, yeah. It favors Sony now as well because it's like, wait a second, we have Venom now open to introducing Peter Parker. So, yep. yeah, it's good. And they also then, we were talking about this, It one of the other movies that was phenomenal under Sony was Into the Spider-Verse, which is something that nobody's been talking about ever since well, all of this because of the fact that they couldn't because right. Marvel is actually the ones who own all of the rights when it comes well, to... Cartoons. We actually will be back with the uh, next discussion. We'll actually discuss the Spider-Verse in live action because, well, it's kind of been confirmed by Kevin Feige in that same exact press release. So uh, we'll be back with that. But for this one, we want you guys to know, how do you think they handled this? How do you proceed with 
Two universes, same actor, completely different iterations. It's We're going to have uh, one Tom Holland be the MCU. The next Tom Holland is going to be how uh, we had Spider-Man 3 um, and him with the symbiote. I mean, Tom Holland can bust it out, though, because oh he can God. dance. Well, come on. Did you not see him in Umbrella? Yeah. Go he, watch um, Epic, uh, or no, not Epic Rap Battles. I have no uh, clue what you're talking lyrics. about. What it's called. Um, Lip Sync Battle? Lip Sync Battles. Go I know, because she that. sends me it every six months thinking I haven't seen no, it. No, I say just remember this and go okay. find Tom Holland's. He does Umbrella. He can dance. So also they can darken his hair, do yeah. things like that. So I can see that Change being, him up enough. Yeah, I guess that being a thing. And he's a phenomenal actor, so, yeah, so he'll be able to do it. There we go.